Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Sega Technologies in the pharmaceuticals industry on just under 700 million market cap, 545 million air price value. Growth was very crazy to 2018 and then been pretty volatile really since then. We're seeing 37% rolling 12, same return on equity, so not a lot of debt here, if any. Earnings per share just under a buck, so it looks pretty cheap from a current PE standpoint. The gross margins the last couple of years have been high 70s. I've been averaging about high 70s, so pretty impressive with operating margins in the, I mean, yeah, averaging probably low 60s, high 50s, so pretty impressive margins for sure. Commercial stage pharmaceutical company focusing on health security related markets in the U.S., Incorporated in 1995, headquartered in New York City. Let's look at that income statement. So we saw the same thing, growth crazy to 2018, pretty volatile since. Shares have gone down quite a bit since 2019. Net income looks pretty consistent at least the last four years. So they might have gotten a drug in uh, effect and such. Um, 150 million cash on hand, just 57 million with all of their debt, zero long-term debt, zero short-term debt, very healthy balance sheet, no concern there, gushing out cash flow with no capital expenditures, their money is going to dividends, which are currently not stated, but uh, about 32 million in aggregate, and then 11 million to share repurchases, otherwise they are just increasing that cash balance on their balance sheet. So it looks like they're looking for an investment, I would presume. I, I don't know what other reason they'd, they'd have to have 150 million cash and cash equivalents on hand, but hopefully they're looking to make a good good investment. And uh, yeah, let's start making some assumptions. It might be a little tough given the volatility here, but let's do our best here. So I think that I probably wouldn't be surprised with maybe 5% growth. They're still really small. 15p in price to free cash flow due to the fact that at the end of seven years, they've probably you know put a couple of drugs through the pipeline on stage four, maybe some trademarks and such for a couple of years out. Um, I probably would just, I just feel comfortable putting that roughly in line with the average historical PE. And then averaging out, let's do a pretty large range here because I don't know what to expect really. Share change, they've been buying back 11 million shares outstanding. That's, I mean, 13 million would be about 2%. So let's, they can definitely afford that. Let's say they do that. And then rest their money to reinvest. Maybe I'll bump this up to six due to them also reinvesting. Um, increasing that revenue growth even more and I mean yeah it's just it's just a little bit expensive with these assumptions but I could easily see you know if you were if you understood this business really well and had a good comprehension and understanding that they were gonna grow double digit for the next couple of years then obviously you're gonna get a great return right here balance sheets extremely safe I just don't have that I just can't see that based on the numbers and it's not looking so obvious that I need to do research immediately so I will be coming back to this as it drops down to a more attractive price. But hopefully you enjoy the video and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.